we will be asked to find averages of normal distribution. What do I mean by that? Let's say you have a X distribution where X is a normal distribution. They are going to give you like N different kinds of X. You have X1 to Xn, which are different samples of X. Okay, you can call this as samples or another word for this is also things like instances. But basically, they all are generated from X. Can I give you a little bit more understanding on this first? What it means is if you have x1, x1 is still mu sigma squared. There's no change in the distribution. They take from x. So x2 also the same, still mu sigma squared. So you can think of it like different objects all from x. We will be asked for this thing called x bar. When you read this, it's read as x bar. So what is this x bar? Okay, in more layman, this is the average or the mean of n samples of x. You have n different x and you want to check the average distribution. We will need to learn how to apply the formula Although I will also show you the proof. There are two important things here. If you observe the distribution versus X, you will notice that the mean stays the same. Same mean. You don't divide by N or times N, nothing. It's exactly the same. But the variance is not the same. You must divide by N at variance. If initially it was sigma squared, now it's sigma squared over n for x bar. Yeah, but we try to prove together. So we're going to start with x distribution. It's mu sigma squared. Now let's write down what will happen to the sum. We do it slowly. Let's deal with the numerator. So I want to have x1 plus x2 all the way to xn. When you add up n different objects, what do we know about the mean and variance? You will times n to both. We don't square 